So, growing up, I used to spend as much time as I could at Evergreen Air and Space Museum. And it was the opportunities and the inspiration I got there that made me realize the value of my education. It wasn't school that made me want to be at school, but it was the, you know, that inspiration, being around all those aircraft, that made me really realize the value of a good degree. So this is what I'm proposing. We take two problems, seemingly a world apart, and transform it into one cohesive solution. Recycling our used smartphones and transforming them into virtual reality field trips. And I know what you're probably asking yourself: Why should I care? And how is this possible? Well, hold up your cell phone. Come on, hold up your cell phone. Now, just remember to silence them. But in your hand is a tool that can inspire the students in our community that need it the most, because those cell phones now have the power to create a world of opportunity once unimaginable but now accessible in the classroom. And the thing about opportunity is that for far too long it's been treated more like a commodity than anything else, something that's bought and sold between those that can afford it. But what would our world look like if opportunity was more accessible? So. Just imagine, if you will, every student, no matter how affluent or impoverished, had the chance to witness magnificent monuments, see great cultures, and gain new perspectives. Hopefully, during a journey like that, students would be able to realize what motivates and what drives them. Because in school, we're taught to learn, but only with inspiration do we find out why we learn. And unless those students discover their drive, their motivator, their Their academic fervor is that the right? Word? Okay, their academic fervor、um, for their education. Our school system will continue to pass up on the uninspired geniuses of the world. How many Albert Einsteins, Mark Twain's, or Winston Churchills, whether it is he, she, or they, have we already passed up on simply because they did not see the point in getting their education? As Plato puts it. Knowledge that is acquired under compulsion obtains no hold on the mind. So, what if we could mass-produce inspiration instead of just degrees? And this is the core of what I'm proposing: we recycle our cell phones into virtual reality field trips. So, whether it is the Louvre in Paris, the Great Barrier Reef, or the ground floor of SpaceX. With a wide variety of awe-inspiring field trips, we could soon have classrooms full of highly motivated students, where each one is inspired to learn by their own interests. So this is where it actually gets really amazing, because with this technology, you can be taken into a world that you've never been before. With this technology, you are given the chance to see things from a new perspective. You can be awakened into a world where you're a different race, you're a different gender, you're suddenly experiencing things like mental illness or a physical disability. You would begin to ask yourself, "What if this was my life, and how would this be different?" And these are the thoughts that virtual reality can foster in the minds of students: a tool to create empathy, inclusivity, and creativity. Just imagine what history class might have been like if you had dreamed up a hypothetical experience as to what it must have felt like to have participated in the Greensboro sit-in. Maybe then students would be able to empathize with history instead of only sympathize with it. And virtual reality is not only a tool to create empathy, but it can also be a tool for genuine understanding. So when teachers are using complex equations and charts to explain super dense ideas, like in physics, biology, chemistry, and math, I want them to know that virtual reality will, pre- will prove to be a more natural way of learning. So here's an example I like to use: we could go and we could visit all the bridges in the city of Portland, and it, we would probably have fun, I think. And the thing about it is that would we actually learn anything? From that experience, with this technology, we could see what the bridge looks like taken apart and put back together again. You could witness how many elephants each bridge could hold, or even where the points of tension and compression are. So this can be a tool for genuine understanding. And the reason for this is because 65% of us are naturally visual learners, and that means that we've evolved to take in information in the same 3D world that we've. Evolved into, and 
This is the part that I'm actually super excited about. Because instead of offering some hollow promise of a better future for tomorrow, this is the dream of a world we can begin to build together. This is because there are currently 2.6 billion smartphones in the world. And of all those smartphones, 80% of them will end up in landfills. And I want to urge all of you to think about what you will do with your smartphone when you buy a new one. Because our smartphones can now create the first generation of virtual reality experiences called 360 videos. And with complementary apps like Google's Expeditions, you can already provide over 500 different free and unique virtual reality field trips for free. So let me show you exactly what that offers. So to me, what we're looking at, so this is the International Space Station. And this is how a student would see it. They can look all around. And to me, this would represent, from my days at Evergreen, uh, international cooperation despite an ideological difference. But to a fourth grader, like looking at that astronaut, where is he? Oh, right over there, that cosmonaut, like they can realize the value that their education gives them. Outer space is no longer an idea that's super far away and far out. It's something that's close by. It's something tangible. So hopefully, a student, after you know, playing around with this, let's say in fourth grade, would be able to realize the value of their education and why they're there. And that's the value proposition that's not always conveyed in school. So when we decide to recycle our cell phones into virtual reality field trips, let's say we brought together 32 cell phones and put them into 32 headsets, just like this. So, these 32 headsets would be able to provide over 5,500 free, individual, and unique virtual reality field trips for a school at less than the cost of one field trip. And to me, that just blows my mind. It's, it's insane that we're not only providing these field trips, but we're also allowing students like the chance to broaden their horizons in a way, give them that opportunity, but we're also removing like dangerous chemicals, including hexavalent chromium, beryllium, and cadmium. So to summarize everything, this is really the dawn of a new technology that everyone's excited for. You hear about it in the news, you hear about it everywhere. It's a big buzzword, virtual reality. And what I'm saying is that it's coinciding with a $500 billion industry, which is smartphones. And as that ex industry exists today, it's as if we throw away $400 billion of it into our landfills. So what I'm challenging us to do better is to consider when you want to get that new iPhone or Android, I'm not blaming anyone, I mean, I want the new one too, um, is, so when we go and we get a new phone. I want us to consider to recycle our used smartphone in order to provide these field trips for students who could actually use them. Thank you. Thank you.